This is a smart motorized air duct shutter. In this video, we will look at what specific problems it solves, run through its design and manufacturing process and explore the features it offers. These vent covers belong to decentralized ventilation units, which are common in modern low-energy residential buildings in Europe. They comprise a straight bore through the building's exterior walls, housing an integrated actual fan. This actual fan unit is bidirectional and can be used to either expel stale air from the apartment or introduce fresh air from the outside. Positioned behind the actual fan assembly, there's a ceramic heat exchanger to enhance the overall energy efficiency of the ventilation system. It partially recovers heat from the exhaust air during an operational mode in which the fan periodically changes flow direction. This specific implementation, however, disappoints due to several significant drawbacks. Windy outdoor conditions let cold air enter through the ventilation unit despite the fan being off, which impacts comfort and energy efficiency. Flow noise in the vent system induced by unwanted airflow as well as outdoor noise are not effectively blocked by a system. The disappointment extends to the control unit due to its very limited functionality. There's no individual room control, which can be inconvenient during nighttime use. Timers and scheduling options are also missing, not to mention an option for smart home integration. Throughout this project, a solution has been developed which systematically addresses all the mentioned deficiencies of the original ventilation system. Let's take a look at the design process and explore the features of the finalized unit. To avoid the issue of unwanted airflow and external noise, an active shutter mechanism was considered to automatically seal the air duct when the fan unit is not in operation. The objective was to have a clean and aesthetically appealing appearance of the closed duct unit and to achieve a 360 degree discharge and intake port when the shutter is opened. To operate the shutter system, the goal was to use a linear actuator predominantly made from 3D printed components. To maintain cost effectiveness, an inexpensive brush DC motor with an integrated gearbox was selected to actuate the shutter. After numerous concept iterations, a design was developed which can be easily manufactured using a low-cost 3D printer. To control the motorized shutter, a dedicated electronic control system is required. Probing the control bus with an oscilloscope reveals that a pure width modulated signal with a 5 volt amplitude at 3.9 kHz is used by the existing control unit for fan control. A 50% duty cycle stops the fan, below or above 50% either inward or outward airflow is generated. Based on these findings, the duct shutter system electronics can be designed to evaluate the signal on the bus in order to actuate the shutter accordingly or to replicate the signal to take control of the connected fan. At a later point of this video, the details of the circuitry will be analyzed. For now, let's explore the electronics design and assembly process.
Before proceeding with the assembly of the mechanical unit, let's examine the functionality of the linear actuator in this cross-section view of the CAD model. In the center of the actuator unit, the compact DC motor is visible, which incorporates an integrated gearbox to reduce the speed to 60 RPM. The 3D printed lead screw is directly connected to the motor's drive shaft and engages with the inner thread of the slider component. Three linear guide sections are used on the slider component to exclusively permit actual movement. For accurate end stop detection, two Hall effect switches are employed. These sensors are triggered by small magnets integrated within the slider unit. This magnet is responsible for marking the end stop of the open position and it is placed on a magnet carrier with adjustable actual positioning to account for tolerances in the mechanical assembly. A second Hall effect sensor, in combination with the corresponding magnet, serves the closed position end stop detection. Now let's continue with the additive manufacturing process of the mechanical components and the assembly of the duct shutter unit. Let's now have a brief overview of the assembled electronics. In this upper section of the main control PCB, the four connections interfacing with the external control bus and the fan unit are visible. The shutter unit is powered by the 12 volt supplier which is provided by the stock ventilation control system. A compact switch mode voltage regulator efficiently steps the 12 volts down to 3.3 volts for the connected circuitry. The core of the unit is a powerful 32-bit microcontroller, a microchip PIC32 which is equipped with plenty of processing power and versatile built-in peripherals. To drive the motor of the linear actuator, a dedicated H-bridge driver IC is used, controlled by the microcontroller through a PWM signal for speed modulation and a supplementary I.O. channel for affecting motor rotation direction. The IC also includes overcurrent protection and current measurement. In this section of the PCB, the connections of the ribbon cable can be seen, which interfaces the two Hall effect and stop sensors. As shown in the CAD cross-section view earlier, these are located on a separate PCB integrated into the linear actuator. For flashing of the system firmware and communication with the debug interface, a dedicated connector is present on the PCB. Another ribbon cable connects to the daughter board which is situated within the front panel of the duct shutter assembly. It accommodates a Bluetooth low energy communication module facilitating wireless monitoring and control of the motorized air duct shutter and the interconnected fan. Moreover, this daughter board features a serial EEPROM for configuration data storage and an integrated real-time clock module, both interconnected via the I2C bus. Discreetly housed beneath this 3D printed shielding, 
A sensor is positioned to measure ambient room temperature and humidity through discrete vent apertures along the lateral sides of the front panel. Finally, a white LED for device status feedback is positioned on the side of the PCB. As a last assembly step, the replaceable filter disk is installed on the back of the shutter unit. As soon as the four electrical connections are made and the shutter assembly is inserted into the air duct, the system is ready to go. In the most basic operating mode, the air duct shutter monitors the fan control signal issued by the stock ventilation control unit and forwards the control signal unchanged to the fan. As soon as the fan is commanded to operate, the shutter is automatically opened. When the fan is stopped, the shutter will close after a short delay. Through the Bluetooth interface, the unit can be conveniently controlled with a mobile app. This gives the user the ability to manually activate or deactivate the ventilation system, control the flow direction, the fan speed and program a timer to automatically deactivate the vent system after a specific duration. Live readings of room temperature and humidity measured by the sensor in the front panel of the air duct shutter unit are shown in the app as well. But there's a lot more to it. Through the app, regular ventilation events can be scheduled individually for all days of the week, or thresholds for automatic humidity control can be configured. As soon as the duct shutter assembly is installed in the air duct, the programming connection is no longer conveniently accessible. To still be able to add new features to the operating firmware, a wireless firmware update function was added. Through the mobile app framework, firmware update images can be transferred to the unit via Bluetooth Low Energy. The system becomes even more useful when integrated into a home automation ecosystem like Apple HomeKit. A simple HomeKit to Bluetooth Low Energy bridge based on an ESP32 development board was developed. It can be easily added to the HomeKit environment as a bridge which controls three fan accessories in this case. All these fans show up in the HomeKit app and now can be conveniently controlled. This enables many further opportunities to automate the ventilation system by combining it with additional sensors or adapting to outdoor conditions. Check the link to the GitHub page below for further information and the corresponding engineering files. Thank you for watching.